What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby if you're new here and as you can tell by the title of today's video I'm going to be showing you everything I did get for Christmas in 2021. Now I just wanted to put out a disclaimer that this is in no way bragging for what I did get. I am super appreciative of all the things I received and I'm so excited about them that I just wanted to share them with you as well and personally I really loved watching these videos so I wanted to to recreate my own so I just wanted to put that out there if you got something you are super excited about for Christmas let me know down in the comments below and without further ado let's get right into it all right so the first thing I wanted to start off with here is something from lululemon now I didn't really ask for anything because obviously as a lululemon educator I do get a discount so I didn't really feel the need to ask for anything for Christmas, but I did get one thing and it is this Team Canada scrunchie. This one is in the color LTSA. Not really sure exactly what that color code is, but my boyfriend's sister did get this for me and she said that she thought she would get it because it's not something I would pick out for myself, which is true because I didn't really think of purchasing any of the Team Canada accessories. So I am super excited to have one scrunchie a part of the Team Canada collection and these are one of my favorite scrunchies as well. And I think they are a very good quality for a scrunchie. And she also gave me some tea from David's Tea. This is the Candy Cane Crush which is basically white chocolate drops, snowflake sprinkles, and crushed candy cane pieces in a black tea. Basically like a hot chocolate, but for tea, less sugar, lighter flavor in my opinion. But I really, really enjoy this one, so I'm super excited to have some of that later. All right, and the next thing I have here is this Lush gift set. This is just kind of, I don't know, a little gift set of Lush products. So there's a shower bomb in here, some lotion and a shower gel. I think it tells me specifically what it is. Yeah, so comfort zone shower bomb, which is like a little kind of, it's like a bath bomb that you basically put in your shower since we don't have a bath. Bergamot and black currant. The Sleepy Body Lotion, which is lavender, and then the Yog Nog Shower Gel, which is caramel scented. So super excited to try this out. Maybe a little bit of a self-care night with these. Very fresh, so very excited about that. And that was from my boyfriend's family. So. All right, and another thing my boyfriend's parents got kind of us as a joint gift is a gift card to a local restaurant for a little date night. So that is so generous of them. I'm absolutely stoked to check out this restaurant and have a little fancy date night. All right, the next thing I received are another pair of fuzzy socks. These ones are butter socks. They are from Nordstrom. This is kind of what they just look like. They're super, super soft, like butter as the name suggests. So I'm super excited to get some wear out of these as well. These ones don't have any grips on them or anything. So I think there'd be like cozy little boot socks too. Very excited about these. And I absolutely love the color. It's kind of like a heathered oatmeal color and I don't have any socks like this. So this was from my boyfriend's family as well. Very excited about more socks. I feel like you can never have too many socks. The next thing they got me is this little essential oil set. This is made locally from the city I'm in, in Calgary. It The brand is named Spruce. So they just have a whole bunch of essential oils in here. So there's peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, mandarin, rosemary, and lemongrass. And I think that these are super, super nice. So I'm very excited about these. I have so many essential oils now and I love creating my own blends with kind of the just core scents I guess you could say and it even gives you like a little card on here on how you can mix them so that is super cool and I absolutely love it and on that note of essential oils they also got me a diffuser to go with it this one is the brand Mucin I believe so it does play sounds which is really cool and it actually lasts for a very long time I think we put it on like overnight and we're still going in the morning so that is super exciting I really love the kind of flatness 
of it as well. I think it's very modern. So this one kind of sits in my living room at the moment. It does have a little light on it and then it can play sounds and they're just like relaxing kind of white noise sounds like rain or the ocean or like birds chirping, stuff like that, which is super fun. If you kind of want a zen environment, then I'll put that on. But I am very excited about this because I have a small one that I got a while ago and I've been transferring that one kind of between my living room and my bedroom. So I'm excited that I don't have to do that anymore. And this one will kind of just be forever in our living room and that one can be in our bedroom. So very, very excited about this one. And the last thing that they got me is this cute little cream and sugar set from Le Creuset. This is what they look like. I've already opened up and put the sugar, sugar, what is this called? It's not a vase, sugar bowl to use. And this is, they're actually like a blue color because they got me a butter dish in a blue color and a teapot in a blue color. Last year, two years ago, maybe last year, I, they all blurred together. But this is kind of to go with that set. So I just wanna show you the color of them. Here it is. How pretty. Blue is definitely my color. I absolutely love the ombre effect of this as well. So I definitely need to host more tea parties so I can use this creamer because I feel like using it for just myself is maybe a little bit excessive, but I don't know. Very fun. I think you could also put like syrup in here too if you're having like a little pancake party kind of thing. That would be super nice, but very, very, very excited about this. And I love that I have a matching set. I think it's just so much more elevated and adult-ish I guess you could say to have matching very nice kitchen wear. Thank you so much for that and I'm super grateful for those items. The next thing I have here is from my boyfriend's dad. This is the Sage Rainforest Diffuser Blend. I did ask for this one because I don't have anything with kind of like a pine or cedar type type of like scent. I have a whole bunch of like other fruitier ones, I guess you could say, or like your classics like lavender and tea tree, but I really like this one. I think this one is like the closest smelling spa kind of scent as well. Like if you mix this with a little bit of lavender, I do really enjoy this and I'm very excited to use it. And along with the Sage Diffuser Oil, they also got me a Starbucks gift card for $50. And honestly, who couldn't use a Starbucks gift card? I am very excited because I haven't had one in a long time, I feel like. So I've been reloading my Starbucks gift card, maybe a little too frequently for my liking, but I am glad to have a gift card to put on my app and you know, treat myself to a coffee every once in a while because those shifts over the holiday season can get long. So you know, you just sometimes need a coffee. So thank you so much for this. I'm very excited about it. And then from my boyfriend, he got me a few things. So the first is this giant octopus. This is like one of the mood octopuses that you can flip. So it's like angry on one side and happy on the other, along with a little keychain version so I can take it around with me everywhere I go, which is super, super cute. I actually really like this. It kind of just sits on her bed. And I do have like the original kind of size of these ones. So now I have three, which is very fun. And then he also got us a little spa package for a little getaway, which is going to be very fun and relaxing and much needed after, you know, this whole crazy year. And I feel like we just haven't gotten away together for anything in a really long time. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Okay, so the next thing I have here is some more tea. This is the Celestial Holiday Tea in Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride. This one has milk thistle, roasted barley, orange peel, and vanilla. I have never tried this tea before. This is from my boyfriend's grandparents, which I am super thankful for. And I'm very excited to try it. I absolutely love tea. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, so I do enjoy a good cup of tea instead. Also from my boyfriend's grandparents, they sent me a little blanket, but it does have like a hood on it. So you can wear it basically like this. I think this is going to come in handy because when I sit at my desk, I feel like it's very drafty over there and it's hard to kind of wear a blanket. So I like that this one has a hood that you can kind of wear it hands-free, but still, you know, you don't have to hold it up kind of thing, if you know what I mean. So I'm very excited to give this a try. I think it's just going to be so cozy around the house 
and it is like Sherpa line. So it is super, super soft on the inside. We have so many blankets in our house now and I am absolutely loving it. Speaking of warm and cozy things, they also sent me another pair of warm fuzzy socks. These ones are super, super thick and fleecy on the inside as you can see. So they do have like the, also the like the little grips on the bottom here and I go through fuzzy socks like nobody's business. So I'm super happy to always have an extra pair to keep my feet warm. My aunt, uncle, and cousin got me some extra camera batteries, which is great because sometimes when I'm in the middle of filming a video and my battery dies, then that just definitely kills the vibe and the motivation there. So this is super great because I can have two extra batteries always charged and ready to go. So I can just switch them out when I need to and then, you know, never have to worry, especially if I'm vlogging or something as well. I don't have to worry about the battery dying. I can always bring backups, which is fantastic. And I think these will obviously come in handy. They also got me this Mo Moba, Fro Moba Photo. Moba photo tripod and I really wanted one of these because it does have like the three legs at the bottom and then just kind of extends instead of extending all three legs so that is super cool mostly this one is going to be for my phone so that when I have to go out to shoot content or making TikToks I don't have to drag around a huge tripod because that is a bit of a pain in the butt yeah then I can just have kind of the forever mobile phone adapter on this tripod and use it that way I also really like that you could maybe use it for a ring light as well. If I ever needed to set up a ring light behind the camera, then this would be really good for that. And like I said, I just like that it's very slim design and that you only have to kind of raise this one up. You don't have to do the three tripod legs because when you're on the go and just trying to get things done quickly, that is definitely a pain in the butt. So very excited to test this out and use it. On the theme of YouTube filming gear, my parents got me these Wiz light bulbs Bulbs. These are the Philips kind of color changing light bulbs, except these ones are more of a hue changing. So these ones are dimmable warm white, which I might have mistaken because I think I wanted the daylight ones. I'm not 100% sure because obviously my house is very yellow in tone and that's annoying when it comes to color correcting. So I did want something that I can plug into the lights and just kind of turn into, you know, daylight. So more of a blue light instead of setting up my ring light every time because that's also a pain. So I don't know. I'm going to plug these ones in and see if it works. If not, then maybe I can just exchange them but I think that was my bad because I sent my mom the wrong link or something happened there but that's okay because maybe these ones will work out anyways but I'm super excited to try these out and see if they work and kind of cuts down on the hassle of setting up a ring light all the time I'm just gonna get this out of the way because it is like the largest and bulkiest thing in the screen but I did get a new vacuum if you watched my what I want for Christmas video a vacuum is something I asked for so I guess you know you are a complete adult when you now get vacuums and appliances and household things for Christmas and honestly I'm very excited about it so this is the Bissell adapt iron excerpt expert maybe that's supposed to be I'm not really sure it's a two-in-one cordless vacuum so it does have like the small handheld one as well as obviously you can use it as a regular vacuum which is great because I do need something to vacuum out my car and we live in any kind of small apartments so it is nice that this one doesn't really take up too much space. So that is what I got from my mom and dad, which I am super, super excited for. I'm probably gonna try it out later today. So I will let you know how that goes, but very excited to give that a whirl. Okay, and then I got a bunch of footwear and shoes because I feel like I never buy shoes for myself anymore. And that is really important because feet are, I don't know, they obviously have to carry you around all day. So super important to take care of them. And I definitely haven't. I am trying to now. So I've asked for a whole bunch of shoes for Christmas. So the first ones I got are these kind of pink slip-on shoes. They're more of a light foam material i'm not really sure but they are super lightweight they're gonna be great for summer especially if i'm at the beach or something then they're like 
easily washable and super super cute i love slide on sandals because you know it's just so convenient speaking of sandals this is the next pair i've got from madden girl they are the sherpa lined type of like birkenstock slide ons and i am absolutely in love with these i have one other pair of these kind of shoes from madden girl as well and i've worn them so so much that this like bottom heel part is basically non-existent anymore so i'm super excited to have kind of a pair of wintry ones that I can either wear as slippers around the house or even to work I'm thinking because they are sherpa lined that they're still gonna be warm enough because I do wear my other sandals anyways just with socks so I'm kind of hoping that these you know add a little bit of warmth for the winter and it's nice just to have you know a more casual slide on shoe when I'm working and it's not too bulky to take in my bag with me as well and I can just slide them on and off and I'm good to go so I'm very excited about those and the next thing are another pair of wintry shoes. These ones are from Roots and they are the Tobermory Chelsea boots. This is what they look like in here. They are just a beautiful classic black boot which I think is definitely going to be a little bit more elevated than obviously my uggs or fake uggs and not even real uggs even though they're coming back into style sometimes i want to feel a little bit more dressy especially if i'm wearing jeans to go out so these are the perfect boots they are also sherpa lined on the inside which i'm very excited about because then they're at least going to be warm in our minus 30 degrees celsius weather which is very very cold and you know you just need a warm winter boot that is still stylish. So I am very excited to test these out. And I think, yeah, again, they just look a little bit nicer put together than your Uggs, but Uggs are, you know, still good for casual wear. And okay, and the final thing I have to show you here is something I'm very excited for. These are Hoka shoes, Hoka One shoes. I have seen these on YouTube and a girl at work wears them and I've absolutely fallen in love with them. They are supposed to be way better for your feet than other brands of shoes just because they have more support especially when we're standing on concrete for eight hours a day that is super important plus i just needed new runners anyways i feel like as a child you would just get new runners every year because your feet grew or whatever just kind of like a back to school thing but as i grew into an adult i never replaced my runners frequently enough i feel like which has kind of led to a few foot problems in my opinion or maybe my bias i don't know maybe i'm just desperate didn't have it anyways but you are still supposed to replace your runners every so often even if your feet don't grow so I'm super excited for these because my other runners are definitely worn out but these are the Hoka I believe these are the Clifton 8s they're like a nice kind of teal blue color which is one of my favorite colors ever and these ones are supposed to be kind of lightweight very cushiony um, and just support your foot in a way that is not going to make any problems worse i feel like kind of you know save your feet a little bit so i am very excited for these shoes here's both of them on here and yeah i hope that these work out well i'm sure they will but i'm super excited about those and that is all for my video today. I am so, so thankful for everything I received, as I mentioned. And I am just feeling so loved and blessed to be able to receive gifts and be able to give gifts to my loved ones as well. So again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, let me know down below some of the things that you may have received for the holidays. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Channel for more Lululemon content. I have a huge Boxing Day sale coming soon, so be sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified when I do post that video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!